think one of the obvious reasons that we kind of got to is this um, idea of like getting all the content is really difficult, and then being able to actually get that content graded in time to be able to do anything about it is difficult. I wanted to go here for a second because I think there's a there's a kind of a hidden thing that I think people don't realize. Um, let's take let's say you have a classroom of 35 students. By the way, my 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 record was 47. Anybody beat it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've yet to find anybody that can beat that. No, 47. No joke. Give it. 49 or a couple of oh, oh, slides. Oh yeah. So I, I had I had, I had 37. It's almost too much. Yeah, I literally have rolling, you know like those like those folding chairs like you have for like the gym? Yeah. It was like literally one of those on the side of a rack. Yeah, a folding chair yep. the teacher yeah. 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 And they come out and like kids were like race to class because they didn't want to get their own folding chairs and have to figure out. It was like really kind of socially awkward too sometimes because like you're, you know, it's crowded and they're like, all right, I got to find desk to sit next to or, you know, it's just, you really kind of felt, I really kind of felt bad. It was, it was horrible. Uh, yeah. So 47, but anyway, we'll just use 35. Let's see we have 35 kids in our class. I think that's probably a fair number, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's assume we're teaching five classes a day. That's probably kind of normal. Maybe teach six, but probably somewhere around there, right? Um, so if you photocopy, so if, you, if you made a photocopy every day for every student, you're really talking about uh, 175 copies per day, right? It seems kind of reasonable. Maybe you don't do it every day, but I know often I was you were asked to like. You know, if you have a daily practice, you also do an exit ticket, you know, so an extra thing, or, you know, all kinds of things, right? So I, I actually think my account was much higher than this, but let's say it was this. So then if you take that 175 per day, and you multiply it by 180 days a year, um, you're looking at about 31,500 co photocopies. And that's if you did one per day, no more, just one. Now, immediately I kind of go, ugh, like my environmental side kind of goes, ugh, I don't feel good about that. Yeah. Um, but there's another thing that hadn't really ever occurred to me before. I, I went down to the UPS store and I was like, so how much does it cost to make a photocopy, by the way? Right? So I asked them, and they're like, well, it's about 12 cents a copy to make a black and white at the UPS store. Now, I assume we can do it a lot cheaper at the school district, but it's still probably, I, I just estimated, let's say it's just 10 cents a copy. Um, so if you think about that, that's, you're, you're literally, if you're only making one photocopy per day, you're spending over $3,000 just making photocopies. That's actually kind of an enormous amount of money. I never really thought about that. Uh, yeah, well, I'm assuming UPS has got the paper, the ink toner, they've kind of you know figured out what a, what a reasonable cost and margin is. But, but it doesn't include teacher time. It doesn't include teacher time at all. Teacher time goes way up when you start doing this. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide what I like more, having to send it out and pre-plan, which then ends up, I end up not using it because it's not what I need that day. Right. Or they screwed up. So now yeah. Right. I kind of like doing it myself, even though it takes more time. Well, the, what problem, I need. the problem is when you send it out, you don't always, if you're trying to be like flexible, in yeah, the process, you can't be flexible. You can't be flexible. You have to be really rigid. So like it kind of goes, it's like an antithesis to good I've wasted methods. so much money yeah. when I have to send it out. Yeah, it's almost more expensive. I agree. <laughs> yeah, so this, this is, again, this is why and I... And you have to fix the copier when it jams. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Forgive the little product placement for a minute, but I have to say that's probably one of the motivations that could have me start thinking about this differently. So, um, if, you know, if you can replace a lot of that photocopy with, with math practice that you don't have to print off and you don't have to grade because you get the score immediately, that, that, that should actually reduce a lot of time and a lot of cost and actually work better. Uh, so, I mean, we are one of, the, one of our moral obligations to ourselves is, is to make it affordable. So we're about hundred, oh no, sorry, fifteen dollars a year. So it's about one hundred fifty dollars. Oh sorry, fifteen dollars a month, about one hundred fifty dollars a year. That's for every student, in every class. So I mean, three thousand or you know, one hundred fifty. It's, it's actually way way cheaper. You do have the devices, but I think almost at three thousand, you can only buy the devices and the software and still be cheaper. Um, anyway, something to think about. I, there are other systems out there, but I think there are better, it's got to be better ways to do this. I think this one, this one is kind of horrible. Um, and I think the biggest one here, obviously, we can differentiate by content easier. We can spend less time grading, obviously. And it's less time and money if you spend photocopying. But I think this one is the most important. Because honestly, guys, the worksheet is a DOK level one, two at best, right? Depth of knowledge. It's just a basic skills practice. 
I mean, that's, that's okay, we have to do it, right? Kids gotta know how to do three X equals 12, right? Come up with four, they gotta know how to do it. But that's not the stuff we should be spending our time on in our classrooms. We should be spending a lot of our time on reasoning and, and higher level thinking. So if we spend all of our time trying to figure out how to get that base level practice done, photocopied, given out to our students, figure out how we're gonna score or what we're gonna do with those scores or get the students even, whatever, right? Then we're not, we're not doing this. 